Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about data handling. Let's learn one more way to represent data which is pictograph. This is Aman. He along with his nine friends went out to eat ice cream. The ice cream vendor had many flavors. The mango flavor, vanilla, strawberry, pista, chocolate. All the children wanted their favorite flavors. Let us see what all all the children ordered. Aman ordered his favorite flavor strawberry. Another kid asked for mango. Next for chocolate. One more chocolate ice cream. One wanted vanilla. Another wanted chocolate again. This one wanted strawberry. And another wanted mango. And one wanted chocolate. And the last one wanted strawberry. The ice cream vendor got confused. He didn't know what all ice cream to give. So what did he do? He asked Aman to write down what all ice creams and the number of ice creams were needed. Let us see what Aman did. Aman wrote down all the flavors of ice cream which they needed. So he started writing the flavors of ice creams. His favorite ice cream strawberry. Next mango. Then if you wanted chocolate and if you also wanted vanilla. So he wrote down the names of ice cream which were required. What did he do next? He wanted to write how many strawberry, mango, chocolate and vanilla ice creams were required. Aman wanted strawberry. So he drew one ice cream cone in front of strawberry. He asked others and two of his friends also wanted strawberry. So he drew one, two ice cream cones so which made three strawberry ice creams. Next, next coming to mango, one, two. Then coming to chocolate, one, two, three, four children wanted chocolate ice cream. And lastly, vanilla, one child wanted vanilla ice cream. So, this way he drew on paper the names of ice cream he wrote and he drew the number of cones required and this he gave to the ice cream vendor. Now it became very easy for the ice cream vendor to know how many ice creams were required. Let us see how many children wanted strawberry. One, two, three. And how many mango ice cream? One, two. How many chocolate ice creams? One, two, three, four. And how about vanilla? Only one child wanted vanilla ice cream. So this was an easy way to show how many ice creams were required for each flavor. You know what is this called? This is called pictograph. Why? Through pictures we are representing how many things are required. Here through the picture of cone we showed how many ice creams were required of each flavor like strawberry, mango, chocolate and vanilla. So this way of representing data with the use of pictures is called a pictograph. If we see it is very easy to see just by picture we can know like how many wanted mango ice cream we can say two children wanted mango ice cream 
how about chocolate one two three four four children wanted chocolate ice cream so this is a very easy way of representing data using the pictures now in a pictograph generally it has a title so that it becomes easier to understand like here we can add the title as number of ice creams to be bought so that it clearly shows how many ice creams we need to buy at times we can also add a note at the bottom to show what the data represents like here we could have written like the one hand drawn cone means one ice cream cone needs to be bought so this was about pictograph a pictograph is a way of representing data through the use of pictures and it may have a title to show what it is representing and at times it might have a note to explain what the picture is meant for so that was about pictograph now let us see a pictograph of a particular day sales of ice cream by the ice cream vendor here this day he sold 220 ice creams how come 220 is it possible to show by this pictogram for this we need to check the note given under the pictograph here if we look carefully it says one cone stands for 10 ice creams which means each of this represents 10 ice creams instead of just one so let us see how many ice creams were sold of each flavor let us see how many strawberry ice creams were sold that day 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 cones are there and each cone represents 10 ice creams so 7 multiplied by 10 equal to 70 so 70 people bought strawberry ice creams that day next let us see how many people bought mango ice creams 1 2 3 4 5 Five ice cream cones are there, and we know each cone represents ten ice creams. So, five multiplied by ten is equal to fifty. Fifty people bought mango ice cream. Next, let us see what about chocolate ice cream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, eight cones are there, and we know one cone represents ten cones or ten ice creams. So, eight multiplied by ten is equal to eighty. So, eighty chocolate ice creams were sold that day. Now, coming to vanilla ice creams, one, two. two ice cream cones are there and we know each represents 10 cones so 2 multiplied by 10 is equal to 20 so that day 20 vanilla ice creams were sold understood now let us see which ice cream was ordered most that day coming back to the pictograph if we see just by glancing at the chart itself we can say the chocolate ice cream was sold most because there are more number of cones here which is equal to 8 so 80 was the maximum number of a flavor which was sold it was chocolate flavor now if we need to figure out how many vanilla ice creams were sold that day then 
what can we do let us see the vanilla column here it is representing two cones two cones means 2 multiplied by 10 which is 20 ice creams so 20 vanilla cones were sold that day so that was a lot about pictogram we can represent a lot of data using this that's all for now bye bye children